Greetings, my friend, and welcome. Uh, today I decided to do a, well, it's pretty much a quick update, the number three update of this year. And thus, number four will be in December, at the end of the year. Just to, to show how they play next year, so to make sure, guys, make sure that what is going on on my channel. Anyway, you may notice that my setup looks different behind me. Uh, this because I, two things. I no longer have the Sony TV, thank goodness I'm done with that TV. And second, you may notice that I changed some things on my setup to make it more reliable, perfect, and uh, usable as a result. Now, a lot of people made a request on my during my during my stream on Twitch. Some people recommend me to do a streams on GameCube, Nintendo 64, or other consoles other than Super Nintendo or NES. The main problem is I can't do reviews because right right now we're still in the well the, during the coronavirus and the the quarantine as a result my production views got lower and lower and lower as a result I del as a result I take much more time than usual. As a result that's why you see less videos than often. That's the why. As a result. And then the plans to make more more reviews of other consoles. As a result has been dashed. So my people will get disappointed because of this. But at least I have good news. I'm going to show you the new setup. And uh, to see what it is. And take a look and see what it is. So this is the new TV right here. This is a Samsung TV from 2007 I think or 6 I remember um, what I like about this TV is that it's small most people use big TVs but I gotta be honest I'm not uh, much of a fan of big TVs I much prefer small TVs because uh, they're compact, small and easier for me to use them most people prefer big TVs but I prefer small ones Big TVs are more for watching movies, something that is videos, more media. But to games, I much prefer smaller ones as a result. That's why I got this one instead of the bigger ones. The real thing that I like with this TV is that I tested and it has no input lag or no delay on the, on the buttons. It's just simply as quick as it gets as a result. And uh, that's really good TV. It uses this TV, unlike others, doesn't have HDMI. It uses a RF composite component as video. And do as you can see here, it's in the behind, even it has S video, which is really cool since most TV doesn't have SDV nowadays. So, so if I had a you know an, an S video for Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64, that would look really good and crisp and less noisy compared to the composite output. But right now, I'm using the composite. Uh, then as you can see, this is the splitter that connects my SSNES and NES. So I'm going to show the TV real quick, just for demonstration purposes. So let me turn the TV on. It's on. Uh, it's on. Just watch. I'm going to turn the TV. Watch. Right there. The other TV takes like two or three frames. To the left and then shows the menu normal like right there the normal tv shows it but this one is just right away oh let me let me turn on the nes and show mario i have mario free also oh, let me show it one two three boop it's mario free simple and easy i can easily swap between console on the fly well i only had two but you can connect up to three on this splitter just boop if you want to play Metroid, back to Metroid. Want to play Mario, back to Mario, and so on. And uh, that's the demonstration here. So, so it is. So that's why I liked about this. It's just simple and easy to get. And uh, as you can see, I had a. I bought another outlet that because previously I used a, a bunch of splitters and it was a mess of cables and management. So, so I bought a. A, a regular outlet like the one you see behind there for my the NES power supply the SSNES power supply and the enormous super thick 
cable that looks similar to my my 27 20 inch uh quick tech view sonic monitor like that that kind of cable it uses the pc style or big house style cable as a result and uh that's about it so aside from that oh most people ask me i made a poll on instagram and most people ask this video so let me pause real quick to show They asked this game right here. I made a poll on Instagram and the winner was Mortal Kombat 3. So I was planning to make a Mortal Kombat 3 video, but as a result, I'm still need to record some footage of the game and practice because I'm quite rusty on the game. So aside from that, so and that's about it. So let's wrap things up. So the thing is that I I'm just super happy with the new setup. It just look amazing and better than my, my expected as a result i really like the new setup and as you may notice i got the other games included and of course remember the mario 64 that i said that the land still has his copy but i really miss mine as a result I, but i wanted a pristine beautiful looking car so about two weeks ago i was and i've seen me stay then i got a new one this time as you can see it's in pristine, beautiful shape, as you can see. No scratches, it's simply a mint chip. This is, an, this is a, one of the very early copies of the North American Super Mario 64, and it's in great shape. It actually works, I did test it, and I really, that's because I, I love this game. This is the game I played the most out of the N64. That's why I missed it, as a result, I still had it in my, in my collection, alongside with my perfect dark copy. As a result, I... I'm really happy to see it, and I'm probably do N64 videos in the future, but still I need to get a working N64 because guess what? My old N64 died. As a result, I need to find another one that actually work. So that will take you a while. As a result, who knows? And most people ask me about GameCube videos, or other than the the six generation consoles, such as Xbox, GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Dreamcast. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those. I no longer have the Xbox. I sold it to my friend Jose. I no longer my, I have my GameCube. I sold it. That was two years ago when I made it. In fact, you might never see my my video of Metroid Prime. I will leave a link in well a card. You see, oops, this side, right here. Click on that. But I warn you, the video is one year old. It's quite old, and it hasn't aged that well, but it's what I got at the time. And no, unfortunately, I don't have Dreamcast and PlayStation. The Dreamcast is a really underrated console, but it's expensive. And it's really difficult. And the PlayStation is way too... It is popular, but unfortunately, it will be difficult for me since I... I only play like two games on the PlayStation. Those are the Maximal series, and that's about it. Since I never had a PlayStation as a kid, that was my body that has. As a result, I had zero knowledge on the PlayStation. The Xbox, I know it because I play four games. Those are Far Cry, which I was never been a fan of it. I played the Splinter Cell series, which I don't play too much. Then I played the, the Ultimate Alliance for Marvel, which I did show a video. As well, the Psychonauts, those I used to have, but like I mentioned, I no longer had the Xbox because I was never being interested on the Xbox, to be honest, that was all result. But I do have a appreciation for it, but it's not for me, unfortunately. Anyways, I hope you understand this update. It's very short, very quickly, because I just want to show my new setup and the Mortal Kombat that is coming up soon as a result. And uh, that's about it, my friends. So anyways, take care, stay healthy, have a good time, and... Uh, See you next time, my friends. As always, thanks for watching.